Hi friends, welcome to Creative DIY Purpose. This week I have 10 quick projects using printable clock faces that I have available over on my blog for you for free. They will be available for download starting this Wednesday. We will be taking some thrifted items and trash to treasure, and I'll be sharing some ideas on how you can use these clock face printables. Please be sure to comment below and share your ideas on how you use these vintage inspired clock faces. All right, we've got a lot to do. So come on, let's get started. I decided to use this decal on this bottle using a water slide decal. I did spray paint the bottle first and it ended up a little more distressed than I want because after I painted my items, they blew off my back deck onto the dirt and the rocks. And since I was almost out of spray paint, I decided just to let it go, clean them up, distress them, add a little bit more distress with a Sharpie. And I thought that it went pretty well with the decal. Sometimes you just got to run with the mistakes and just make the best of them. So I love this little hummingbird clock face, but I took the clock numbers off of it because I had a different plan for this piece and ended up going a different route. And this was another piece that after I painted it, I had them laying on a cardboard box and it just, they all just blew away. So I, it looks a little bit more distressed than what I like because I had to make up for all the dirt and the gravel marks. But so it's a white matte spray paint and water slide decal. I'm going around the edges with some chiffon cream just to add a little pop of color around the rim and give it a more finished look. I believe that most of the finished products today will be getting the Rust-Oleum spray sealer, which is also what I apply to all my water slide decals prior to applying them onto the surface. This is a great way to repurpose some of your old scratch DVDs and CDs. The clock face images that you will be downloading, I have already sized them to fit the CDs and DVDs. These also got a coat of spray paint. I'm applying rice paper transfers on with Mod Podge. I paid 99 cents for this little box at the thrift store. I believe that this is mineral paint by Waverly. Just going over it really quick. I do like the green, but I just wanted to give it an aged look. Now I'm going to apply DIY white wax and wipe that back. I did not apply any to that round section in the back because I'll be applying the CD on using some E6000. The last project today, I will be sharing another idea on how you can repurpose old CDs and DVDs. And our next project is using them as well. Same, I'm applying the rice paper pr printables right on to the CD using Mod Podge. If you are looking for another type of repurposed project that is especially great for kids this summer, I will link it right here above for you. And it's over on my blog. They are scratch art sun catchers and a lot of fun to make. I took some string and glued them onto the back and just hung these little CDs onto a vintage picture frame. And there they are with the white backing. This wooden round, I did use two coats of the Rust-Oleum spray sealer prior to me painting it with the matte white spray. Here, I used the freezer transfers and I did print it in reverse image since there is some script on there. If you would like more information on how to make your own 
DIY freezer paper transfers. I will post that for you right here and also at the end of this video. And I'm just taking a scraper and applying the image onto this wooden tray. I did it in three different sections. First, I did the middle image, and now I'm just doing the numbers around the top and the bottom. I purposely did not try to transfer the ink on there evenly because I really wanted a nice aged look. And I, I then took some fine grit sandpaper and went around the edges and to try to get some of that red paint to pop through. For project number six, I printed this image out on water slide decal and just applied it to the convex side of this clear plate. You can also paint the opposite side of the plate to bring the decal out a little bit more, which I'll show you in the next project. But I think that that had a really neat look. So I'm thinking you could also put them on something clear and put them in the window as a sun catcher. So for project number six, we will be painting the underside of the plate and applying this water slide decal to the front. Because the back is opaque, it's really gonna bring the colors out. And I think that this almost looks like stained glass. Let me know if you would like me to do a quick video on the water slide decals and we can do a few more projects using them and I can walk you through some tips because I've kind of learned the hard way with them. <laughs> All right, project number eight is this little ruffled dish. I applied the same decal. I did use some chiffon cream and paint the back of the plate just to bring out some of the beautiful detail. The downside is the easel shows through the back and kind of looks weird. But I'm sure we can find another way to display it. For project number nine, I had this basket. It did have a lot of spots on it. I scrubbed it the best that I could and still couldn't get them out. So it needed a paint job. And this is actually textured paint that I had left over from another project. I had these little wooden rounds. So these decals are printed out on rice paper. And I'm just applying them now with Mod Podge and going to put some string through the top hole. I thought that as name tags that you could use for gifts or at place settings even look nice on a tiered tray. So what I decided to do for this last project was make them into coasters. I'm curious to know what is your favorite waterproof sealer? I have not tried the Mod Podge dishwasher safe sealer. Please let me know if you've tried it, if you like it. To cover up the hole in the DVDs, I used a piece of cardstock and glued that inside. Now I am cutting off the rice paper that I glued on the bottom side. I will be adding a thin piece of cork to the bottom to help so that they don't slide when they have drinks on them. I thought these would be so nice to pull together for a nice summer garden party or just something fun for the kids to do. Now, if you are looking for a really good, simple lemonade to make, you can find that recipe over on our blog as well. The kids and I had a lot of fun making it and it's delicious. Friends, I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a comment below. Let me know which one of these prints is your favorite. Have a super blessed week and I'll see you next Sunday.